Let us welcome our priest presider, Reverend Father Joey Ben Camino, visiting priest from the Diocese of Cheyenne, Wyoming, USA. For by one offering 
and sleep perfect forever, those who are being consecrated. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us, for after saying, This is the covenant I will establish with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them upon their minds. He also says, Their sins and their evil doing I will remember no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering of sin. The word of the Lord. Yes. You are priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The center of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are priest forever in the land of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the Jew, I have begotten you. You are priest forever in the land of Melchizedek. The Lord has sown, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are priest forever in the land of Melchizedek. Please all rise as, as we honor the Holy Gospel. Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. 
and ye saw the, the ones so on rock ground, who when they hear the word receive it, and at once with joy. But they have no rules, they last only for a time. That when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those some long thorns are not their soul. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil, the ones who hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Well, I'm on, I'm on my vacation right now. Uh, anyways, I'll make my homie really short. I'm pretty sure you're going back to work right after, okay? As I remember when I was starting in the States, I used to say mass in the school, and the kids would make a, a short note after the mass. Thank you, Father, for saying short masses for us. <laughs> we have more time for recess. So I'll give you time for, for lunch. Anyways, so if we're going to elaborate the gospel reading, I'm pretty sure it'll be long because it's a parable. And I'm pretty sure you knew everything because you keep on hearing this gospel reading about the parable of the sower, right? Oh, hello. Anyways, um, I just to give you an example, I use I, I normally use my own experience when giving a home. There used to be a banker like you. I was with uh, used to be a Republic Planners Bank before and I was made that, you know. So I worked with that for five years before I entered the seminary. It's coming from the from a Catholic school all throughout from kindergarten until finish finishing my college. It's like reading the Bible. I'm pretty sure most of you also at the time. It's like it just becomes like an obligation for us because we want to pass our religion class or the theology class, right? For us, it's kind of boring at the time when we were still in school, you know? It doesn't give any meaning at all, right? We just read it just like our own regular textbooks. So by the time I, I was in the bag, just imagine during this time that I was still in school that I told you that it's kind of, kind of a boring reading for, uh, for me. So when I, I was already in the bed, the more I've been longing, you know, to keep on, keep on reading the Bible and find the meaning of it until the time when I was working in the bank already, I keep on searching for the truth. So I keep on joining of different groups, not only the Catholic Mass, but I keep on searching. I've been joining this kind of, uh, we have these small groups in the bank, different groups of both the born again Christian group. Because I keep on searching, you know? I find it. Although I knew in my heart, being Catholic for throughout, I knew it in my heart that it's already the truth, but I keep still looking for it. The right, the right group to be with, you know. So, in the time, it's just like there was this group that they've been joining, and they came in. when they started criticizing the Catholic group. It's a time I did question myself: Why are they questioning? Why are they criticizing Catholics? You know. If you are claiming yourself to be Christians, how come you criticizing the other Christian group? Is it right that we have to realize being Christians, people claiming ourselves to be Christians, we should love, we have to to respect the other group because they're also Christians. Huh? So this is the time that Jesus is challenging us. If you knew my words, you should have to live out 
my words. Not just listening, not just reading it, but something that you have to read it out. Right? And it's something that we have been challenged by Jesus at the time. Huh? Where is my words? Is it only in your mind? Or is it in your heart? That you keep on leaving it. You know, the Pope was here for five days. And you keep on being inspiring with his words. But the thing, again, just like the Gospel reading, that is it the word that penetrates our hearts? Or is it just in the mind? We are not superficial people. As Christians, we have to buy, we have to obey, we have to live up the words of Jesus. Same thing in the Bible. The challenge. Where are you now? In the name of the Lord, the Son, the Spirit. Christ teaches us through the parables. Christ is the sower of the seed of God's word. Let us respond to his word by praying to the Father. Our response will be divine sower and bless us. Divine sower and bless us. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine sower, bless us. That the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine sower, bless us. That our unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine sower, bless us. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine sower, bless us. That those who have died may enjoy the light, happiness, and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine sower, bless us. And silently, let us pray for our special intentions. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in your service and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen.
that they sacrifice the rules and be acceptable to God and Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which you gladly present present on the feast day of St. Thomas of Aquinas be pleasing to you, God, for thought by him. We do give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift your heart to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation always and ever was to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Thomas and Aquinas, do you be your church rejoice, so do strengthen by her, strengthen her by the example of so divine, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of her praise, as we now can be acclaimed. <laughs>
worse you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in blessed hope and come of our Savior Jesus Christ. We the power and the glory of your Son and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, He said He you, like peace I give you. Look now for the sins but of the faith of your church, and grace to grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. That was all for shouting this time.
will be on February 12, 2nd Thursday, Father Francis Lucas, President of Catholic Media Network, will talk about Lumen Fide, an examination of Pope Francis' encyclical letter. The out second, the outreach group would like to thank everyone for your prayers and support for the school reconstruction project in Homonhon Island. We had a successful person outreach in Tacloban City Jail, tree planting activity in Guian, and feeding program for kids at the school site. The group also had discussions with the contractor to survey the school area, the type of soil, and where the school would be constructed and other requirements. The, the school building project will start as soon as we have the initial down payment of 1 million pesos. And as of August, January 27, 2015, we have received 822,833 pesos and 50 centavos for the project. The second collection will be for this initiative. Third, the Living Light Community Servants also invite you to support the cake, wine, and chocolate free Valentine raffle. Uh, it is for the fundraising activity for the reconstruction of the school in Guian Eastern Summer. The tickets are available from any of the LLC servants and it will be sold until February 11. The draw will be on February 13. Winners will be announced via email. You may also wish to be a prize donor. Please contact Irving Salaveria for your donations. Thank you and bless us all. Finally, we would like to thank Father Joey Ben Camino visiting from the Diocese of Cheyenne, Wyoming, USA for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. So in November, you know, especially right after the visit of the Pope here in the last so you're going to see your Facebook, there will be a lot of tweets criticizing, you know, what we have done. One thing is we have no way to argue with them, right? The only thing that you could do is to kill them. <laughs> kill them with kindness. <laughs> Just kill them with kindness and shout out. You know, the best way to evangelize people is not by words alone. You have to be a good witness of your own faith. Okay? The more beautiful. And your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.